Today's menu includes Facebook and blog calling cards, a 3D stamped card, a cute and girly shopping bag, and candles with special messages. Stir them all together for one fabulous scrapbook soup. Today's scrapbook soup has been brought to you in part by Michael Stores Incorporated, where creativity happens. Michaels.com, Sakura Color Products of America, SakuraofAmerica.com. Well, I see mint tins here, and we've got black paper, so what are we doing today, Julie? We are making fabulous tins to hold your modern calling cards. Oh, I like mm -hmm. that. So you can take any tin. It's okay if it has dimension or if it's totally flat on top, either way. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to coat that with a coat of gesso. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then on top of the gesso, we're going to do some doodling. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a transparent pen. If I can get it out of the packaging, <laughs> I will. That is the hardest part <laughs> of all, right? And then I'm just going to remove the little dot on here, test it on some scratch paper, and then I'm just going to do a messy circle. And this is going to become a rose garden. I was going to say, you saying they're messy circles. I see roses. Exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in two different colors of red and a pink for a little bit of variation. Mm -hmm. And for the sake of time, I have one here that's already done. Already done. Done. And now I'm going to draw some messy leaves. And again, I'm going to use two colors of green because I like, I think that creating a little bit of variance of color lets your eye sort of jump around. It makes it seem well, it more gives, natural. Yeah, well, it gives dimension too. Well, and certainly nature is full of a thousand different colors. Mm -hmm. And you can see that a leaf is really just two messy sort of tear shaped things and a line down the middle. And I'm just going to fill that whole thing with leaves. And before you know it, guess what, Julie? It's already done. It's for already us. done. Magic of television. So I have it here, it's already done. And the next step is I'm going to color in that background. And this is really fun because you get to control a little bit now how everything looks. You find any spot that looks like it should be background and you just start to color. And that ink is just gonna flow into all those spots. And this is what really pops those flowers and leaves forward and makes them seem like something more than some random scratch. Now this is a gel pen, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. You want to use something that has a nice liquid, transparent ink. Right. It just looks and so also, cool. I, when you put it on, this is already a really good color, but some of them, after you leave them a little while, then the color just they intensifies do. and brightens. They do. And, and, and it's gets a little bit vibrant. dimensional, too, which mm -hmm. I really like. Yeah. So, magic of television once more. <laughs> Here you go. I have one that already has the background painted. And now I am going to take a yellow. And this is where you add that little extra something. My mom, yeah. when we were in school, was always telling us, you know, you want to make sure that you take your paper and make it an A. And it's always in the finishing that you make it an A. So now all I'm doing... Great advice from mom. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just going to color in, roughly color in. I'm not even thinking about it. Just parts of the flowers. Highlight them with yellow. So I have one here that's already finished, as you can see. And um, all you do is you open this up, and now it is ready to receive any kind of calling cards you want. And let me tell you about what I've made. I okay. have made calling cards that are for your blog, for your um, Twitter feed, for your um, Facebook page, and even oh this God. is a little appointment card. Don't forget to meet me for lunch, uh -huh. you know? So let me show you how easy it is. We're going to make this one right here. So I'm just taking a square or a rectangle. This is two by three of black cardstock. Well, you sized it so it would go in I here, I sized right? it so it would fit in there, and whatever size tin, you just go ahead. And then I'm going to take a white gel pen, and I'm going to draw some little stripes across and just go like this. And again, this is over time, it will darken up. When you first right. see it, mm -hmm. you start to go, this pen doesn't work. What's <laughs> happening? 
And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do some scallops. We've done these before, and I just double them up and double them up and keep going. And then I end up getting something that looks very much like this. And then I'm gonna get into some coloring. I love to color, don't you? I do. It it's kind of takes you back. <laughs> yes. Now you want to use. Not quite so far back as me, but anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. I think I think it goes far enough back for me too. <laughs> so uh, you want to use a pen that's really a gel pen that's meant to go on a dark surface because that's how you're gonna get that nice vibrant color off of there. And you can see how bright that pink is. It kind of matches the set, you know? It's a nice color. Right. Now, when it fills in, it's mm -hmm. it's not solid looking, but that's okay, right? That's just part, yeah. of, the, that's part of the exactly. look. Yeah, exactly. That mm -hmm. scratchy look is definitely part of it. And if you wanted it to be solid, I mean, this is where I say my style isn't everyone's style. You could definitely take some more time. And you could do and it be if really you want. careful and, yeah. and go if in you there. Were the Perfectionist. Exactly. So you go in with a couple different colors until you get it the way that you like. And I have one here that's mm -hmm. already done. And then I'm going to go back to that white pen. And all I'm going to do is one of my favorite doodles on earth, which is a line. That's all it is. Anybody can do just it. Just a little a line, dash line. A line, yeah. a line. And I just keep doing the lines. And it's going to end up looking like this. It is very cool. Now these are, this is gelling, right? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. And I've done two tins here that are basically a variation on the design that we had. This is, it's the same flowers. This one just has a purple background and some blue leaves instead of green. And this one um, had a paper band around it, which I put gesso on. And then I just did some scallops on the edge. Just one other quick thing I want to show you, which is I've actually put on the back of each of these calling cards a piece from a security envelope. That's a fun upcycling idea for some unique patterned paper. It is very pretty, Julie. Thanks. <laughs> we'll be right back. You know what? It must be spring because flowers are springing up everywhere. It's a really great trend. We all love flowers. And I want you to look at this flower on this page down here. Emily Beachy joins us from Heartfelt Creations. And Emily, you're going to show us how we can create this dimensional flower. Yes. And we're not going to use scissors at all, right? No, we're not going to use scissors. We're going to use a stamp and a coordinating die, which is very fun. So to get started, we're going to use just a plain piece of cardstock with the die that we're going to use. And I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. So just lay that into the plates. Okay. Just on top. We'll just run this through. Oh, just a turn of the handle. It makes it so easy. It does. It does. And since these plates are larger, you can also run multiple dies through at one time, just which is ask very you. nice. Yeah, we could be doing like tons and tons, a whole garden of flowers all Absolutely. at one time. Absolutely. So when I'm at home, I'll do a lot of flowers at one time. So when this comes out, we're going to just remove the top plate and just lay that aside if you want mm -hmm. to grab that. And then while this is still intact with the cut line, I grab a piece of tape and we'll just put this down and I'll tape the outside part to the die. And then the part you normally keep, you'll actually remove this and just throw this away, okay? Oh, okay. Well, and we this, could use it on something else. Yes, so you could use it on something. <laughs> <laughs> so basically this creates a template for the image that we're gonna stamp, oh, okay? okay. So we're going to grab the pearlescent chocolate ink and our coordinating stamp. Okay. Just ink the image up. And I'm just stamping this on a basic cardstock. Mm -hmm. Just give that some firm, even pressure. And That's once, so cool. Isn't that fun? So since the stamp coordinates with the die, you're going to grab the template we made so you can see exactly where that's going to line up with your stamped image to cut this out. Okay, now I have to ask this, Emily. Why can't you just put the die right on top of the stamped image and just run it just through run one it through. time? Well, the reason you don't want to do that is that the die, the blade's actually in the center. Mm -hmm. So because of that, you can't see exactly where it's going to um, cut out when you are looking at it from this angle. Oh, so it's, a pos it's all about positioning. Yes, and this yes. way we get a perfect position each Absolutely. time. Absolutely, so we'll just bring that down. You right. can see exactly where that's gonna cut. And oh. then we'll flop that down. Just right down. Put your piece yeah. of tape down. And then I imagine we're gonna keep the template and keep on reusing that's it. That's right? <laughs> right, that's right. That's exactly what you'll do. So you'll just lay this back onto your plate, put your other cutting plate on top, and then we'll run this right through the machine again, and that will just cut that right out. So yes, if you're at home doing this, you can do a lot of different petal sizes at one time. Uh -huh. And this enables you to create a quick three-dimensional flower without the use of your scissors, yeah, exactly. which is great. 
I can see chrysanthemums and dahlias and roses. Oh, absolutely. So I'll bring cool. this out. Just pop that right out and uh -huh. you've got your petal. That's beautiful. At this point, we're going to create a Here, quick... take those from you. Okay, grab that. And then we'll create a quick flower. Now, to assemble this flower, I just take a glue dot. Just put that into the center of your layout. Um, right there. Just press that down, peel that off. And when I use these petals, I'll actually bend them a little bit, just like this, mm -hmm. pull this up. And that and gives then, them the dimension, right? Yes, that gives it a little bit of dimension when you're working with them. So put a petal on that side, put one on this side. And you've got that spot of glue, which gives you your circle. And that instance it's a circle, it actually helps you create a circular flower, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't end up with a square flower. So we'll bring in this other, these other two petals on this side. Now, since there are multiple petal stamps in the set, you can continue building the flower with multiple sizes. And also multiple, multiple size. sizes of dyes. Is yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and then we'll take match an, up. another glue dot, just put that into the center. Just make sure that's yeah, secure. Pass these over. Sure, okay. Then these are the second sizes that we've cut out. And I'll just offset these with the first layer of petals that we created. Just bring that, that in That is there. so pretty. Isn't that fun? So it makes a really quick three-dimensional flower for your scrapbook Now, this is a different layout. design on here than this one. There is. Um, the, the set comes with six different ones, so you can really oh, create lots multiple. of different choices. Yes, yeah. yes, which makes it very, very versatile. So you can use this on your layout. Oops, that popped off. We'll put that back on. Okay. How do we make the center? Okay, the center. What, what I did is I took a daisy die cut, and I'm just laying this on a soft mat and uh -huh. using a stylus tool and just bringing this up and this creates a three-dimensional oh, flower for right the center. Up. Yeah, that's a fun way to create some quick three-dimensional flowers without um, much bending, you know, with your fingers or anything right, like that. Yeah. So uh -huh. um, this is the one that I put into the center of this main flower and you can use the same technique and add, you know, a couple different flower sizes the, on top of the each other. the dies in different sizes. Mm -hmm. so the die actually comes with five different sizes. That's so we'll bring very, that very down cool. in there. Well, let's look at the page over here. And you've okay. also got a card. So this is, this is the completed page. And then the card over there is using the same stamp set, mm -hmm. um, just a different size petal. So it creates a, a quick and easy three-dimensional card without the use of your scissors. And then we've also got some very fun projects over here. And um, all made with the same kind of concept, same yes, kind of Yes, yes, with the same kind of concept. Emily, these are beautiful. You know what? Instructions are on our website, so you need to check there, but stay here for right now, okay? We'll be right back. Hi, I'm here with Kathy Peterson from FlipPal Mobile Scanner, and Kathy's done this beautiful gift bag, and I think it's got some interesting elements on it that you're going to be surprised by. <laughs> so, Kathy, tell us about it. Well, actually, you feel a drop of rain hitting you here? Ooh, I think <laughs> it's studio? getting wet in the Is there studio. A leak? <laughs> now, what does an umbrella have to do with scrapbooking? I don't know. Well, why not? Well, I've got a mobile scanner here okay. that is a great tool to scan just about anything, including umbrellas and anything okay. else that you want. So all I'm going to do is going to take the lid off of this. I thought you were breaking it for no, a moment. No, no, and I'm going to turn it on. And when you turn okay. it on, this little uh, screen turns on for mm -hmm. you. And is it plugged in somewhere? No, it's totally cordless. Okay. The, everything is included. The uh, SD card that's in here has all the uh, software that you need. If you don't have an SD slot in your computer, mm -hmm. we also provide this uh, USB. Mm, uh, that's clever. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So what I'm going to do mm -hmm. is if you'll model the umbrella for Here me, you go. I'm actually going to flip the mobile scanner over and I'm going to hit this little green button. Okay. Is it heavy? Not at all. You can throw this in your purse. So I'm going to hit the scan button and you can see the scanner going oh, yeah. by. I see it going there. And the scan is complete, so I don't even have to wait. Now I can flip it back over. Okay. And here's my image. Okay? Oh, wow. So it scans in color, mm -hmm. it scans in black and white, whatever you want. So cool. let me just flip this around again right here. Now, normally what we would do is um, scan photographs. Yes. Things like that. So we have tons of those like that. And mm -hmm. if you've got family members that aren't really willing to share photos mm -hmm. with, with oh, other I, family I members, you know who they are. I definitely have some of those. You can 
let's just simply put mm -hmm. the lid back on. But okay. as many, you know, as many that will fit on here, we'll mm -hmm. just do two. Mm -hmm. We'll put them face down. Again, right. we'll hit the scan button. And we're and good just going to gonna go. scan them right in. You know, it's so funny. I was talking to somebody the other day that we wanted to be able to on the road scan our receipts and stuff. Awesome. And this idea. would be really cool really, for that really too. Good. I, mean, I know it's not strictly art related, but, but I can see the use for it right away. Yeah, genealogy, scrapbooking, yeah. general crafting, home decor. Mm -hmm. I use it for everything. Can you imagine being like at a national park or somewhere outdoor and scanning some of the nature to bring Absolutely. home with you? Be beautiful, beautiful. So cool. And again, too, I love fabric, so I'm constantly mm -hmm. going to the fabric stores and mm -hmm. uh, just throw this in my purse and scan. Mm -hmm. And fabric cool. so that I've got samples instead of you know sometimes you can't get swatches that's a great <laughs> idea for a home decor project or anything exactly so what I can do now is I can uh, determine what DPI I want to scan at so okay. I'm just gonna hit this top button and DPI for people who don't know Oh gosh, you put me on the I'm spot sorry. here. <laughs> Did it's well, not something that, points yes, per inch, but it's basically uh, the Dots resolution. Per inch. It's Dots. like how Dots well it's going to be. Yes, exactly. exactly how rich and, exactly. and full body is. So you have two options. You mm -hmm. have 300 DPI and you okay. have 600 DPI. So I'm just going to oh, scroll down here, mm -hmm. and right now it's on the 300. So you can see the yellow block box and yep. 600. Well, I, mm -hmm. I'm just going to do 300. Why not? Yep. Hit the OK. Scroll down here. Now this is a timer. Okay. So if you're a busy mom or not, mm -hmm. busy girl, busy working mm -hmm. girl, the doorbell rings, the you know phone rings, your mm -hmm. husband calls and says, mm -hmm. "Where's supper at?" <laughs> and you're busy scanning your your heart out. Yeah. This timer, you can set it, and it'll turn it off at one minute, two minutes, or ten minutes. So oh, you cool. save the battery power. Okay. Very nice little feature. That is there. nice because I have to tell you, I forget that kind of stuff all the time. Absolutely. So now if we want to just go back and. Um, look at our uh, scans that we've done. Mm -hmm. We can scroll backwards. Now, how many images can you store? Oh wow, there's a lot here. Um, actually, I think I I can't really see that. Maybe you can help me read that right there. <laughs> it should say how many. It says scans. 170 of 1256. Thank you very much. There you go. <laughs> so that's I'm, a lot. 1256 plus 170. That's amazing. And that's at 300 DPI. Mm -hmm. So you've that, got a lot than... of storage. <laughs> yes, and you do. And what's so nice about it is. You just plug this into your computer and you're good to go. Now mm -hmm. the software on here is wonderful because mm -hmm. you can enhance your photographs. Mm -hmm. You can print them out smaller. Okay. Or you can do two up actually if you'd yeah. like to. Full full size or even that. bigger. Mm -hmm. um, and then also different sizes of images here. Very so cool. you've got a lot of different options and everything okay. to do. But this, well, let's build our bag then. Okay, absolutely. So here's our scan mm -hmm. that we've made okay. from the umbrella. Wow. And I've just, you know, where are you going to find this in the scrapbook papers? No, that's Probably so cool. not. So I'm just going to start by just laying this out really easily. Okay. And I've taken some just different kinds of scrapbook papers and I've just layered it down here like that. Oh, I and love that you used a shape that was sort of uneven. Uneven, yeah, because I wanted the, the flow of the curve to go there. Yes. So you can cut those out. And then I've also got. Uh, just some squares of, you mm -hmm. know, cardstock. So I'm just going to lay it like this, mm -hmm. and I'm going to attach that, of course. And I've got some uh, glue sticks. I right see. Here. You just keep layering just those keep colors. Layering it's great it. colors: red, pink, green. They all exactly. work together so nicely. And then you've got little punches that you mm -hmm. can use. Use what you already have. Kathy, this is a great project. I can't tell you how many uses I can see for it. Thank you so much. You've been great. a great guest. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Joe Pearson joins us from Michael's with another great technique. You're doing something with candles. What is this? I, I, it, it's an awesome technique on, a te on the candles, and it's really kind of magic, so I can't wait to show you. We're just taking an ordinary candle. It doesn't have to be a, you know, a very expensive candle, so we just have, and you can use a solid color, which is going to work best. Uh -huh. And then we're going to take tissue paper, and I've cut it about the width of the candle, and then I just picked out a stamp. Now you can use any kind of rubber stamp that you want. This one happens to be the music notes. And we are going to stamp on the tissue paper. I'm hoping that my ink is really nice and, it looks nice and moist there. It's okay. really good. Jo. So I'm gonna take, and I'm just gonna lay it on the tissue paper. And press down okay. all over. Uh -huh. And some of this we're going to cover up. So, you know, you just want to make sure you've got your ink on here good. And it doesn't matter if it overlaps. So we're going to take and stamp our entire piece. And, of course, you and, measured around the diameter of the right. candle first. And, right? and it's going to overlap a little uh -huh. bit. So now what we want to do, though, is we want to set yeah, this aside. I'm going to give you here. that. Uh -huh. We want to set this aside because we want this ink to dry really well before we go to our next step. So I'm going to give you that. Here we have a piece that we already have stamped. Now here's where the magic comes in. I'm going to take my candle, 
And I'm just gonna lay it down with the tissue paper and I'm gonna start it. I found out this was the easiest way to do it. Now I'm just using a heat gun, okay? It's gonna be a little bit noisy. Okay. So we're gonna turn this on, okay? <laughs> oh, that's not too bad. No, it's not, is it? And we are gonna hold it and what's gonna happen is the actual wax from the candle is going to start coming through, and you can see this happening. It's gonna start coming through the tissue paper. And it's actually gonna actually And look, so it's melting. See what it's that doing? That is so cool. So we're just gonna kinda of leave it and go a little bit at a time and go up and down. And we're gonna completely melt that on. Now what I like to do is I kinda of like to go back and just kind of you know, smooth it out right. a little bit. Uh -huh. What's good about rolling it is, is then you can keep it tighter. I, the first time I tried it, I had it standing up, and what happens is then the tissue got a little crinkled and I didn't care, right. you know. You know, that one a little would have bit been a nice effect though too. It is. So, so you can see, I mean, here's just still a little bit of, that you see how the wax is melting. Uh -huh. But you know, you could do this with just any kind of, you know, and of course a colored candle, you could use that too, right. but it's nice when you use them this way. So we're just going to kind of keep going around. Of course, it's colored around. tissue too, or tissue with sparkle in it, well, just all kinds I'm going to show you when we're done with this one, because actually, if you don't want to go to as much trouble as stamping it, so see, when we get down here at the end, we want to kind of smooth it and hold it a little bit as we go along. That is so, I, I mean, I would a, have been looking for a glue, Joe. I have to tell, <laughs> I have to tell you. But you know, now when you've done this, though, now this is tissue paper. So right. The candles are for decorative purposes only, I would think. Or? Yes. Yes. So I want to, I want to show you this now. So you can see, and there, you know, there's a couple little creases, but what's happened, it's where the wax is kind of melted a little unevenly. But look how cool that looks. That is gorgeous. Now, it really, really is. You know, if you wanted to, you could go back and antique it or whatever, but we're just uh -huh. going to add some more decorative paper. So I've just taken a pretty piece of scrapbook paper and I put some tape on one end. And what we're going to do is we're going to, you can add ribbon or whatever. So we're just going to wrap this around our candle. Let's see if I've got it here in the, the center. We'll put that overlap. on, uh -huh. okay? And then we're just gonna take a pretty piece of ribbon. Now, one of the things I wanna show you too here that we have, you know, there are just such beautiful pieces of jewelry that you can, you know, that you can get today. And what's fun is maybe you wanna even think about using one of your grandma's brooches or you know, something like that. I was just like gonna that. say, they look like something my grandmother used to wear, but we can also, and we can even get things like this from the store, oh, right? There, if you yes, don't have, that, to have that's any. what all of this is, you know. So we're just gonna take, we're just gonna kinda tie a piece of ribbon around here and you can attach it if you wanted to. You could take it and, and uh, you know, put it on with a piece of glue too, because I'm just gonna trim this off in the back. But I wanna show you, some of the pieces of jewelry when you get them, you know, they have different places where they're pins and they're this, mm -hmm. but you can just take a wire cutter and always make sure that when you're cutting the backs off of something, that you hold your hand over it. Over this so it doesn't so fly. <laughs> I fling stuff across. I'll be doing something at home and I'll hear something ping somewhere. And, and it's poing. like, I've just shoved that all the way across the, the room. So that plus you don't want to get hit in the eye. That's so true. You want to just take We always have off. to be careful when we're crafting, absolutely. right? absolutely. You got to have industrial strength things sometimes. So I've taken all the pieces off, but then look, we have just some, some pretty um, pearl headed pins. And because this already has pearls in it, look what we're going to do. We're just going to take and we're gonna, let me shove it through this way. We're gonna put it this way. And then we're just gonna take the pin and we're gonna push it through. And it goes right into the candle. The candle. And look, you've just got, and you take another one then put it at the bottom and look what a beautiful it's a finished gorgeous. piece that you what have. It's a great gift. And you know what this would cost if you went to buy it at the store. Yeah. You know, and you've made it for a fraction of the cost. But look at one of our other little tricks. This is another candle that we did, but if you don't want to go into the trouble of, of actually, you know, printing on the tissue paper, right. this is just a print tissue paper that we put on the same way and then just put some pretty ribbon around it. And these are just brads that we stuck into the candle. That is cool. So, isn't that but beautiful? You, but you know what's really cool? I love your candle holder for this candle here. It's an upturned wine glass. Absolutely. You don't have to go out and buy a really that is expensive the coolest. <laughs> candle holder. You have the coolest ideas, Jill. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so You're much. You're quite welcome. <laughs> we'll be right back. Well, what a great show it's been so far, and we have a little bit more time, so Julie's going to share a fabulous find. Well, these are papers. Just look at this scrapbook page here, but look at that gorgeous background. It's beautiful. That, pre that precious, and believe me, it started with paper like this. Now, it I looks look, like white it on white. It looks like white on white, a sheet of white paper. But I'm going to take an ink pad, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to slowly go right over the top. 
And now there that's we a had magic a beautiful reveal. design. Isn't that cool? And you Very could do cool. stripes and you could do different colors. Now we can also use a spray. I love the idea color. of using stripes so that you don't actually have to cover the whole background. That's yeah. so mm -hmm. cool. So let me see. Mm -hmm. you know, I love these sprays go. that look like makeup or something, don't you? They're so <laughs> there cute. There we go. I was looking where the hole was first because I just knew I was going to have it all Spray over my nose. Spray yourself in the face. Yeah. And so you can just That's kind so of mix pretty it too. up. But very different. Yeah. But you let it dry and immediately that mm -hmm. design appears. I just love this blue one here with the butterflies yeah. and then the gold. And the, the pattern is, is really color. Nice. It's, it's like a resist. Yeah. You know, and well, you know, this one, that, I actually right? thought this was like a lace doily or something in the background uh -huh. of it. All that intricate, you know, white work. Yeah, but this is work. so much easier. It is. You know, we can it take lace is. doilies and we can spray and do all yeah, kinds of things yeah, on top. Yeah, which is but really, is really nice. cool. And I know that we're, we have um, an extra little project that's going to be on the website. Right. So if you wouldn't mind moving that paper towel yeah, out of the way. If you want to get your teens and your kids into scrapbooking, we're going to have a couple quick projects and directions for that will be on the website. So whether they're into sports or dance, we can cheer them on with any of these layouts, right? That's awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you can join us again next week for more Scrapbook Soup. Visit ScrapbookSoupTV.com for a mix of ideas, a mix of ingredients, a mix of designers, and all of the instructions for every project found on this series of Scrapbook Soup. Create your own recipe for great scrapbooking. This is show 104. A complete set of all 13 episodes of Scrapbook Soup Series 100 is available for $39.99 plus shipping and handling. A mix of designers, techniques, and projects, all in one complete package to watch anytime. Visit ScrapbookSoupTV.com to place your order. Today's Scrapbook Soup has been brought to you in part by Michael Stores Incorporated, where creativity happens. Michaels.com, Sakura Color Products of America. SakuraofAmerica.com